Well, good. Ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you for joining and um, I'm happy uh, to present. Um, and thank you for the organizers for inviting us. Today, um, I want to talk about um, our um, developments for the micro LED industry and in particular scaling the wafer diameter to 300 millimeter because that will unlock a lot of um, bottlenecks which we today see in the micro LED display industry. Now, um, we've seen many uh, examples of great displays uh, already today, and uh, so I don't want to waste everybody's time here, but one I want to point out is here the um, contact lens integrated display made by Mojo. And I um, personally saw it, and it's really fascinating what, what becomes possible with micro LED technology. But there's, there's a big question, and that is whether we can actually achieve the right yield and cost level so that this can be put into production. And we want to um, show an important aspect on how this can be achieved, and that is um, boiling down to the uh, manufacturability of all of this. So we've seen many ways of um, color conversion, mass transfer today, but everything starts with an epi wafer, and this epi wafer um, um, needs to be processed in LEDs. And then, of course, you have different parts. One is this, what some people call monolithically integrated, where you have super high pixel densities for the kind of um, augmented reality displays, very near, close to the eye typically, but also others like um, here, light field display. And you have other. Um, uh, what some people call assembled displays, where the chips are much larger and the pixel densities are also not as um, as high as in the first example. And this is the televisions, transparent displays. But we're not going to focus on that part of the um, manufacturing, but we're going to focus here on this very first part. And that is um, something which um, is quite interesting to observe because you have the LED industry and the silicon semiconductor industry meeting here, basically, and um, they need to work together. But that is actually quite problematic because you have different wafer diameters, the LED guys being used to 100 millimeter, that's the standard size today. Some are at 150 millimeter and some very few are at 200. Whereas in the silicon industry, you talk only um, for the more advanced nodes and high yield manufacturing processes about 200 and 300 millimeter. Um, there's also a mismatch in terms of the culture. Uh, when I speak to CEOs in the LED industry, they typically talk about the three most important things as being throughput, throughput, throughput. Um, but in the silicon industry, that is very different. Here, it's all about yield, yield, and yield. So, this whole yield aspect, of course, is directly translating into cost. Yeah, if you have bad yield, you have high cost. And that is what the silicon industry with its manufacturing excellence uh, stands for. So we need to get these two parts together. And um, if you take away one aspect from my presentation, um, we need super glue for that. And the super glue is actually gallon silicon wafers. Um, and that is basically depositing the gallium nitride um, materials on um, a silicon substrate um, to make the LEDs. But you need to do this on the right diameter so you can feed these wafers into silicon lines. But it's not only about the diameter. You have very stringent um, requirements and much more, much higher hurdles to get these wafers into the processing lines comparing to the LED industry. So you need super low bow. The wafers need to be clean, without any cracks, no delamination, a lot of aspects which come into this. Um, otherwise, they cannot be accepted by the silicon industry. And remember, we need to go there for the super high yield and, and thus low cost to get all of this into a high volume manufacturing. Now, um, there's one more challenge, and that has to do with the GAN and the silicon. So the GAN and the silicon have um, a very significant lattice mismatch, and that leads to the wafer being curved, simply um, trying to get these two crystals to fit together, causing a large bow. And that you need to manage. And then when you scale the wafer diameter, you actually have a problem that if you increase the diameter of the wafer, 